What we eating today? This is the this is the boogie down mom Bronx. family. <laughs> Bronx family. We don't even know what name we got. It's a, it's a boogie down mom Bronx family. Alright, we got some chipotle here. Got some chipotle. We got the Hey We got the what's it called? Burrito bowl. Burrito bowl. You know what I'm saying? With the wrap. Mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, like, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do. Let's get uh our subscribers up and our likes up. Get this video to at least right a thousand. now. Nah, that's too much to ask for. Let's let's do ten let's do ten likes right now. Let's do ten likes. Mm -hmm. Why ten? Because we ain't got that many to subscribers, so we just for now. Question number one. Why are we doing a YouTube channel? I'm Denise, aka Taina, aka the Bui Da Mom. Joe Fez in the building. We're hey. doing a channel because we are so freaking funny. We do a lot of dumb stuff in our house to each other and to our kids. I got four. 17, 11, three, <laughs> and one. All girls. He's a girl dad. <laughs> Question number two. You're so good. We're from the Bronx, born and raised in the Bronx. I was, I was first. I was born in Bronx, Lebanon, oh, oh, and then I spent a lot of my childhood in 183rd. I used that's where my mom brought me at from the hospital. I lived there, and then in 1997, when I was a semi teenager, I moved to the block where I met. Well, we didn't date. We didn't date until like seven years ago. <laughs> I'm from Harbridge, man. I'm from the jungle. I've been there 35 years. I'm trying to get out of there now. I love the Bronx, don't get me wrong. But it's become, at least where we're from, it's become so bad. Like it's not even, it doesn't even feel like home no more. Too many people are dying. Too many kids got sh are getting shot. People are getting hurt every single day in that block. Like it's crazy. Like I love the Bronx, but it's just, I don't know what is going on with this generation. I met, I met my beautiful wife in what we call Ellison Avenue. In 1997, I think it was. No, it was a little bit after, like 98, 99, right. No. Yes, it was around there. It was 98, not 99, because 99, y'all, me and your brother was volviendo. Okay, but you didn't come talk to me. You didn't. But really... I knew you already. We already knew you each other. You should have. If you would have hollered at me at that time, you would have saved me for some old. <laughs> that I met. Oops, bleep. <laughs> so I'm mad at him for I'm mad at him for Not hollering At me back in the day You try to holler at her At the damn videos now In front of my face I didn't even know he was there <laughs> I'm like he kept asking me for my age. He's I'm like, everywhere. He's like, are you 18? No. And then he was like, well, how old were you when your when your ID, when your license expired? I'm like, last year. He was like, how old were you last year? I'm like, I don't know, 30 something. And then he's like, well, how old are you right now? I'm like, I am 34. He's like, you don't look 34. You look like you 18, 21. Yeah, I'm standing there the whole time. I didn't know that I was with you, so 
I'm like hungry. I'm I'm already pissed off because of traffic and this flirting in, fr in front of me and to her. I'm like, excuse my language. Excuse us. But you doing that in front of me, I'm like, I'm already tight. I was gonna say something, but I know my I know my temper, I'm retarded, so. Anyways, my birthday in a few days. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You always have. Mm -hmm. How old I look, guys? Oh, wait. I don't look my age. Look this. It's beautiful. I'm proud. I lost 13.9 pounds. I don't understand how I don't gain weight. It's like I don't gain weight. I stay in the same range. I don't gain any weight. But then I get full mad fast. See, I'm already getting full. And I got all this food left. Look at this. That's because you have surgery. Weight loss surgery. Oh, this is hot. Yeah. The chicken. It has spice in it. And they all come like that. They, that's how they make it. They make it with, with spice. Every meat has spice. This is a lot of food. Look at the car with eyelashes. I want a car with eyelashes. <laughs> that's stupid. Only girls have stuff like that. You don't see a damn man putting la eyelashes on their car. Well, that's yo. <laughs> What's so dumb? Yeah, it's a well, car. Boy, why would you? It's wanna... a car. It's a car. It don't have eyes. <laughs> but the front light look like eyeballs. Oh, Y'all watching those cartoons? <laughs> I hope everybody's staying safe for this coronavirus. Well, wear your mask. If you gotta wear gloves, wear them. Have some sanitizer. I got. I always had hand sanitizer with me. It's been since maybe what? The end of February where the coronavirus started getting bad. And I thank God that me and my family has been safe because I was out there working. And I was the paranoid one. Yeah actually got into a huge argument because she didn't want me to work. She thought I was gonna die. So, but I worked this whole time and I didn't, God, thank God, I pray every day that I, I don't get sick and we don't get sick, our kids don't get sick because I have family members die of coronavirus. I had a lot of my family members, I don't want to say where, to protect their privacy but i had a lot of family members that had it including a lot of children and excuse me crazy and i also had people that passed away knew that i know people so when it hits close to home you believe it yeah people. i wasn't i wasn't believing it at first because you know it's always something happening like last time with uh what was it what was that other virus that came the from africa uh um why is the floor shaking this is a bay is a is a garage downstairs anyway <laughs> um what was it called uh, ebola virus i was, gonna, I was gonna say bimbola bimbola <laughs> When the Ebola virus happened, it was the same thing. Yeah, but that wasn't a pandemic. That is no, spread. No, no, but it was though. Out it there. Was. Yeah, no, but babe, people were getting sick over here too. No, but it wasn't a pandemic though, left. But what I'm like, saying was, it it, it could have been. 
but they took care of it. You understand? They knew where it came from and they stopped it, boom. If they would've did the same thing here, where they got it from, from Europe, and they would've stopped the dude from coming on a plane, then nobody would've got sick. You understand? Whatever happened to that dude, is he dead? Is he alive? Oh. What? This dude just thinking infected the whole freaking world. <laughs> Bro, millions of people got sick. Oh, and I remember I had a go Half a million people died. Like, it's crazy. I, it started to hit me when I had to go to the ER with the baby and she had a fever that didn't go away for like four days straight and I was panicking. And then that was around the time when the coronavirus test, they started to actually do it. So when they, mm -hmm. she was a little baby, I mean, she still is a little baby, but when they stuffed that damn stick down her nose, oh my God, my heart. I was like, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. This can't. And then I came and I saw a whole bunch of dead body refrigerators outside of the hospital. They were like lined up. And I said, this is no joke. This is for real. And those, and now there was like five stacked up. And now there's like three on a movie passed by last time. And I checked it out. But thank anyway, God that test came back negative. The, the, the virus is still here. Yeah. Still gotta protect yourself. And it's gonna be here forever. Yeah, it's gonna be here forever. That's, there's no taking there's no taking that out. It's there's gonna be vaccines, all of that. There's so. gonna be vaccines, but I'm not gonna get on no vaccine until I know what that does. Word. Until I see side effects and know everything. Because I get my flu vaccine and I never get no symptoms. I don't get nothing, 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 nothing. And I never had the flu a day of my life. I had the flu, that was bad. But now with this COVID thing, wait, this was just a little video so y'all could get to know us. us Joe talking Fez. Crap. Joe <laughs> Fez. The Boogie Down Mom, AKA Denise, AKA Taina, AKA whatever y'all wanna call me. Joe Fez, I'm not gonna give my girl my name out because I just don't feel like it. So just figure out what my name is, Joe Fez. I'm Spanish, so figure it out. We're Hispanic. I'm Spanish. We're, we're, we're Boricuas. A hundred and a thousand percent Boricua. I don't think we're a hundred. the building. We're not a hundred percent Boricua. Why? Because you black. <laughs> so, you gotta have some <clears throat> My mom is Taina. And my father has more of the Spaniard side. I'm sure Christopher Columbus messed up your family. <laughs> Cause he was raping the he was raping the the Taina the women. The yeah, the Taino. I'm sure he probably raped men too, so. Anyway, we're done here. We out. We we'll see y'all in the next video. We love y'all. Subscribe, like, share. Let's go. If y'all like this video, leave a comment as well. Please, we need supporters. Let's go, baby. We out of here. Bye. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more funny mom prank videos. Subscribe, baby.